What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my hobbies. Let's get right into this. Okay, so up first, as you would expect, because my channel actually started off with this niche, and that is video games. I am a huge fan of video games. I play video games almost every single day, especially whenever I have work and I have work that night. I like to relax whenever I get home off of work after I've slept a little bit and play at least an hour of video games a day. That is kind of what I try to do on my off days. I play a little more, but every day I try to play video games and it's basically my biggest hobby and it's one of my huge biggest addictions right now. I'm always playing the PS4. That's all I play anymore. I have a lot of different games that I've been playing, NHL 20, I've been trying to clean up all of my backlogged games because I have a lot of games that I've purchased over the past year that I either have yet to finish, yet to get into, or complete, or have even tried. So I've been trying to clean up my backlog, play a couple of the new games that I've purchased that came out this year, and I'm always, always playing games. As you guys know, because I've mentioned this before, I am a trophy hunter on the PS4. So if I see that there's a game that has potential of me platinuming, I will try to do everything I can to get either A, the most trophies that I can in that game, or B, try to platinum the game itself. So I always have fun doing that because not only am I completing the main story of the game if it's a solo game, but there, because I'm going for the platinum, there's a lot that I can pick up and do along the way. And to me, that is a lot of fun to do because it means instead of just beating the game and I'm done with it, I have a lot more to work towards. So I'm always, always, always playing video games. That's my biggest addiction and hugest hobby right now. Next up is Netflix and movies. I actually have a video that I plan on doing very soon. If not, I think I might already have uploaded it. Depends on when I'm uploading this video, but it's my Netflix picks of what shows I recommend and what shows I've been watching on Netflix. I've been watching a lot of different shows, Prison Break, The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Marvel's Daredevil, and so much more. So I've been watching a lot of Netflix since I got it this past summer. I've been also watching a lot of movies on my laptop. I recently watched Spider-Man Far From Home and Avengers Endgame, which were amazing. I'm a huge fan of Marvel, like I've mentioned before. Um, so I've definitely been catching up on a lot of Netflix and whenever I work nights, I try to watch a little bit of TV shows whenever I'm off throughout the day, whenever I'm not playing video games. And on my off days, I try to watch at least three episodes, let's say, or maybe just one full movie. And that's kind of how I relax on the me time. Next is collecting. That is one of my other hobbies that I try to take a break on here and there because it can become very expensive. I mainly collect hockey cards, CDs, comic book, knives, and a couple other small things, but definitely hockey cards is my top one because I'm always looking on eBay for hockey cards. I used to open up the packs of them, which I honestly felt was a lot of fun. However, I was never finding what I liked and I was getting a lot of base cards and I honestly have a lot of base cards to get rid of. So I've been purchasing the cards that I actually want online on eBay, winning auctions and not paying too much for them. So I'm fine with doing that. And I've been clearing out a little bit of my collection here and there. I've been posting on my uh, eBay, trying to get rid of the cards that I don't want and trying to purchase the cards that I do want. So I've been collecting a lot. CDs, I've shared my collection before, my CD collection. Comic books, I've shared my comic books before. I haven't been able to purchase more CDs because honestly in the stores, it's hard to find CDs anymore because it feels like honestly they're going out. And I could honestly say within maybe five years, we potentially will not see CDs anymore, which for me sucks because I love getting the physical copies of CDs. And comic books, I don't go to comic book shops too much and I can barely find the ones that I'm into, which is the 80s and 90s of most of the popular Marvel ones. It's honestly really hard for me to find them in good condition, bagged and boarded, which is what I love to have in my collection. And knives, I've shared my knives before. It's not necessarily something that I look for and I go and I'm definitely not going to the store and buying something brand new just to add to my collection. But if I see something at a yard sale or if I see something really cheap that looks unique and it looks antique or it looks cool and it is a knife, I'm gonna purchase it and add it to my collection. So right now, I wanna say I have at least, at least 10 knives in my 
knife collection and I might have to make another video updating it because I have purchased a couple more and I've shared them in collecting videos, but I haven't updated my knife collection in a full video yet. So I might have to do that later this summer. Next up is, as you guys can probably guess, my YouTube channel. I am always, always, always working on videos and I know these days I don't have too much recording time available. I never have much time to record videos, but that does not mean that I'm never working on my channel outside of recording. To make YouTube videos, there's a lot to it, so I'm always having a notebook and I'm always coming up with ideas, writing them on my notes or on my phone, trying to remind me later. I try to come up with ideas, I make the thumbnails, I record the video, and once I'm done recording videos, I try to edit them right away because that makes sure that I have the video done and ready to go whenever it comes time for me to upload it. I always am working on my upload schedule of what I want to upload and when. I always, always, always try to make it like two to three months in advance, have my schedule full of what I'm going to upload when, just to kind of get the weight off my shoulders of if I don't have time to record, since my recording time is slim these days, I am plan I have planned that just in case that's going to happen. And whenever I get time, I try to record as much as I can. Like today, as I'm recording this, I have a couple more videos that I'm going to be recording after this. So I'm always working on my YouTube channel when I'm at work, whenever it's dead. If I come up with an idea, I'm going to write it on my notes. And then whenever I get a couple minutes on my break, if it's something that I have to plan a little bit more in depth and I have to maybe look up a couple things on my phone, I'm going to try to look up whenever I'm on break and try to write in and fill in the blanks as I go. That way, whenever I'm home, instead of me having to work harder on my channel and try to get everything planned and ready to go, I have a lot of it done whenever I'm on break at work or whenever I have my downtime, I try to do a little bit of my planning for my videos. So I'm always working on YouTube, trying to come up with new ideas, trying to find out, find out what will work for me, try new things and different things like that. So my channel is a huge hobby of mine and I thank you guys for all of your support. Next would be listening to music. I listen to music every single day. I've mentioned this before. I used to listen to music while I'm editing videos and whenever I'm relaxing, but now whenever I'm relaxing at home, I'm usually playing video games, watching Netflix, or working on my YouTube videos. Most of the time, whenever I'm listening to music, it's on my ride to and from work. I have an hour drive to get to work and an hour drive home. So that for me is the best time to listen to music. I just connect my phone with Bluetooth and listen in my truck on my way to and from work. And that's whenever I listen to music now. I listen to rap, alternative music. I listen to a lot of different kinds of music, mostly rap music like Eminem and a couple other artists and alternative music like Linkin Park, Blink-182, Sum 41 and different bands like that. So that's basically what I listen to. As I mentioned before, I'm really into music. That's why I collect CDs, but it's hard for me to find CDs anymore. So I don't listen to as much music as I did before, but that's because I've devoted my time for listening to music for my ride to and from work and my me time whenever I'm home relaxing. It's for Netflix, video games, or channel work. So that's why I haven't been doing much there. <clears throat> Next up is NHL. I'm really into NHL and that is a, I'm going to say it's a hobby for me because I'm always looking up stats, seeing the scores of the games, trying to watch highlights because with me working now, I don't have much time to watch the games live. Sometimes whenever I'm on patrol at work because I do work at a casino, I might walk around the gaming floor and see the game on the TV, but I can't stop and watch the game for too long because I have to make my routes. So I basically watch it while I'm on patrol, watch it for a couple seconds and then carry on on my patrol. So I don't get to watch hockey too much, but I'm playing hockey on my video games, NHL 20. I'm catching up on highlights. I make sports bets for NHL. I'm always checking out the stats, seeing who's scoring the points, who's doing good, if there's anybody that's a big name on injuries, contracts to see who's gonna be hitting the free agency, the draft that's coming up, the stats. I usually make my prediction video of who I think is going to win the Stanley Cup. That's something that I do every year now. And I have a lot of in-depth. I do reaction videos for my channel for NHL fights and different NHL things like top goals of this past year. So NHL is definitely a huge aspect of my life. As I mentioned, I collect hockey cards. So basically for me, NHL is the top sport that I watch and that I get into. 
and I really enjoy everything about it. So conversations at work with coworkers that are into hockey, there's always something to talk about, whether it's a past game that something happened, or just who, what teams we're into and what players we like and different things like that. So hockey is a huge aspect for one of my biggest hobbies. Next up, and the last one I'm going to mention is the WWE. I'm a huge fan of wrestling, always have since I was a kid. I get the video games every single year, which I really enjoy playing the video games for universe mode and having control over it. It's kind of like my GM mode in the video game. But I, again, don't have time to watch it anymore. I can't get the uh, WWE Network here in Canada, so I don't get to watch any of the pay-per-views or Raw or SmackDown or NXT, which honestly sucks. And the reason for that is because in the United States, you can actually apparently go on and get it just like you can Netflix, whereas here in Canada, you have to get through a TV provider, and if you don't have a TV, TV provider, you can't get the WWE Network, which sucks for me because I'd honestly love to watch the pay-per-views whenever I get home from work after they've happened or on my me time or whatever, and I just can't do that. But I do watch the highlights. I do get the stats of the pay-per-views. I get to see the results of the pay-per-views, see what's happening, check up to see who's the champion, the highlights on the Facebook, everything. So I'm always checking up on WWE. I'm a huge fan of it, always have been. I always make my prediction videos of who's going in the Hall of Fame. I used to make my pay-per-view prediction videos, but I cut them out because number one, they weren't doing as good as I wanted them to. And also I'm not able to watch it as I once was. So it's harder for me to make prediction videos if I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm able to check up the highlights. I'm able to check on everything else. Know who's who, know who's coming to the WWE, know who's doing good, who's the top, who's the champions, who's having good rivalries who's doing amazing in the ring. And I try to catch up on the new guys. If I know somebody's new and I'm like, I haven't seen that person before, I try to read up on them and I'm always checking up stats. So WWE, like NHL, I'm really into. I just don't get to watch it anymore. So these have been my biggest hobbies. I know these might not be all of my hobbies and some of these you guys might not consider a hobby like NHL or WWE, but they are to me because I'm so devoted and into the whole brand and everything about it for me i'm going to consider it a hobby but comment down below what are your biggest hobbies and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to leave this video here please take care peace